Gratitude is an amazing practice, but there's a slippery slope between the ego's gratitude and the Holy Spirit's gratitude, just like love, the ego love and the Holy Spirit love. Welcome back to One's Journey of Unwinding the Mind and of course, your daily microdose. Now tune in to the latest episode of One's Journey. I want to talk about gratitude. Gratitude is an amazing practice that I incorporated early on into my journey of healing. Way back when I went into the New Age area, era, I was part of the church. Just that growth process. Gratitude was a great foundation for that. And since stepping into really moving with the Course in Miracles and a different understanding, I'm the dreamer of the dream, gratitude, I realized, well, I didn't realize, it was shared with me through A Course in Miracles that there's two different types of gratitude. There's ego gratitude and there's Holy Spirit gratitude. And it's easy for us to get caught up into the ego gratitude and not that you should feel shame or guilt for this, right? Again, a reminder that when we don't do things in alignment, it doesn't mean, oh, let's produce more shame and guilt. It's an opportunity to be like, okay, first of all, it never happened. And second of all, forgiveness, right? Forgiveness of it never happened, like I just said. And then an ability to do choose different, an ability to have awareness and understanding of how to move forward. So this is not meant to be a shaming video, but a video to help open your eyes to the difference between ego gratitude and Holy Spirit gratitude. So ego gratitude is really rooted in the fundamental belief of separation, right? Separation, suffering, and sacrifice. So when you understand that basis that we talk about and see how that applies to the things you're being grateful for, you can see when you're entering into the ego. Example, when you see someone else who got into a car accident and you didn't and you feel gratitude, that wasn't you. You're grateful that wasn't you. Guess what? It was you right? It was you. And technically it didn't happen. So you can have gratitude for one and not have gratitude for all, or you actually have gratitude for none at all. Again, you cannot have gratitude for one and not the other, because if you don't have gratitude for all, then you have gratitude for none. It's all or nothing thing. When we are one mind, you can't pick and choose pieces because there really isn't pieces, You can express gratitude towards yourself, but if it's gratitude based on someone else's sacrifice, then that wasn't gratitude at all. That was ego level gratitude. It was gratitude for the separation that you are different than me. It's gratitude not acknowledging our oneness and that this is technically an illusion. I'm not saying within the illusion you do not practice gratitude, but it's the gratitude when it's coming from a place of the Holy Spirit, it's gratitude for all. It's gratitude... Um, that is separate from separation. That sounds funny, right? So it's not, I'm grateful for the food I have because there's other people starving. It's just, I'm just grateful for the food, grateful for it. And as you work up that ladder and you're practicing that gratitude, that's more from the place of the Holy Spirit, which is oneness and love and peace within the solution, because the reality is we're here. So it's about practicing those skills within the illusion as we're untying the ego and eventually where your gratitude will go is that your gratitude is that you realize this illusion isn't real and you're grateful that you're actually at home with God and that this is all just an illusion and all a dream. But while you're here, practicing gratitude is just, is it good? is very, very helpful. But understand that when you are grateful for something because someone else experienced some sort of suffering or separation and you did not, that's just a reiteration of the ego's belief system, a reiteration of separation, a reiteration of me or you. Yeah, it's conditional gratitude, right? Unconditional. Really, that's the essence of the difference between the ego belief system of love and the Holy Spirit's belief system of love. We've got conditional and unconditional. So the same thing goes for gratitude. The ego's gratitude is conditional. The Holy Spirit's gratitude is unconditional. It's just ever grateful. There's no, I'm grateful because it just, I, it it just is. I just is, right? That my favorite saying now that Patrick and I came up with, I just is. Pay attention to that. I have my clients send four gratitudes. And it's interesting because they'll sometimes there will be ego gratitudes thrown in there and we'll talk about it. But 
quite often when we are doing intentional gratitude exercises, I feel that we're actually stepping into the Holy Spirit belief system intentionally or not intentionally. It's unintentionally because you're doing it. It's happening subconsciously, but consciously just that mere act of intentionally seeking to find gratitude, we tend to come with whole, with gratitude that would be consistent with Holy Spirit's gratitude. Now, when it's like in the moment gratitude, we usually are coming from a place of the ego because it's something we just experienced or saw experienced, and we're grateful that something worse didn't happen to us. Again, Gratitude is an amazing practice, but there's a slippery slope between the ego's gratitude and the Holy Spirit's gratitude, just like love, the ego love and the Holy Spirit love. This video is to help you bring awareness to when those opportunities come where you want to express gratitude for something happening to someone else and not you, because first of all, you're making the illusion real, but second of all, you're making the separation within the illusion real as well. So just pay caution to that and instead really lean into that Holy Spirit gratitude. And as you continue to go up this ladder, your main gratitude will be that like this illusion isn't real and you're at home in God. And I am grateful that I'm aware of that. I'm grateful I'm at home with God. This was an interesting concept for me to wrap my head around. And as you can see, I'm still working through it myself, especially because gratitude has been such a large practice in my life and trying to find the gratitude in everything. But now it's taking it to that next level of uh, if it's ego gratitude, it's really not doing any help for you in this process of untying the ego. It's instead feeding the ego gratitude for the ego illusion and separation and taking it to the next level and being really intentional about my gratitudes and intentional about them aligning with the journey I am on, which is that of untying the ego. Share with us about your experience with gratitude. Have you already implemented an intentional gratitude practice? If you haven't, I would encourage you every day to write four things down that you're grateful for in the morning. And it really sets your mind to start watching for things to be grateful for. And then if you've already intentionally placed a practice into your life, really, what are you doing to take it to that next level of the Holy Spirit's gratitude instead of the ego's belief system gratitude? And also, so a lesson in the workbook is lesson 195 that talks about the difference between ego gratitude and Holy Spirit gratitude. If you want to read further, that's in the Course in Miracles, of course. And as always, remember you are worth it. And I am so grateful you tuned in today. Love you tons. Take care.